Hello you hateful heathens, how are you this week? After last week's uh, fuck up with E3, we did an E3 video, well I did, 3, or was it 4, I've lost count, but I did, we did the podcast this weekend, uh, basically debagging the fucking whole fucking week's worth of events, so now I've got your comments for it, yeah, and if you're wondering where's the hood, in the wash, why have I got the glasses on? I have conjunctivitis. No I don't. I just get sick of getting blinded by that fucking thing because it needs to light up my face so I've got these on so I can see what I'm doing. So let's break straight into the podcast comments. Now I have a few this week. So starting off with Fighting Spirit. Uh, E3 was a big letdown. Yes. Rehashed titles and repetitive gameplay with mindless shooters. Then they brought Usher there. Mm, oh, that was scary. Seeing Usher fucking parading around trying to sell a game. He probably never even plays video games. What the fuck were they thinking? Fucking retard developers. Agreed. Uh, thank you very much for your comment. Next one is from Quick Quick Quiz 401. And he says, I always get giddy as a motherfucker when I, when there's a new hate, hate bit podcast in my sub box. Love you guys. Oh, how um, how wimpish, wet, damp, whatever. Fuck it. Thanks for the comment. <laughs> JP Stovall uh, Eleven says, I look at people who buy Call of Duty the same as people who buy. Who, yeah, who buy cheap hookers, who obviously have STDs, and then proceed to bang them without a condom. You deserve a round of applause. Guy of the of one thousand ounces. I'm guessing. I'm assuming that's what the one K means, anyway. After I played Thief 2, I had to play as a rogue in every possible game before that. I always played as mage. As a mage. Good idea. Playing as a rogue is fun. You know, I always like playing as a thief sort, roguish type character. Uh, I always try to evolve my characters into that, so it's always good to meet a fellow rogue. Because I like the whole sneaking thing, you know. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, Splinter Cell. The earlier games. Thief. The list goes on. The Nintendo Juggalo. Please tell me you don't like ICP. Please say you do not like ICP. And you called yourself the Nintendo Juggalo because it sounded cool. But your comment was good. This is what caught my eye. Video games. Entertainment. Professional wrestling, sports entertainment, there you go, and he's put those little, yeah, those little arrows, so it's more than, anyway, thank you very much for your comment. The Rad Player says, my vocabulary was drastically increased in my first year of playing WoW. Wow. I learned about ancient history from Total War and Civilization. I learned about radiation from Fallout. I learned about ev evolution from Spore. I learned about teamwork from DOTA. And many, many more. Thank you. Well, that kind of uh, puts forward my point that you learn a hell of a lot by playing video games, especially history. You know, if you play topical history games such as the early Medal of Honor games, you'll learn about the conflicts that you take part in. Let's see who we've got next going down. Ah, AL Justice. Regular commenter. I grew up with gaming, I swear my Atari is still in my grandma's attic above my room. And yet, this was our E3. I'm not a moron who holds E3 
as the representation of the face of gaming each year. But really, that is what we get. Can we please go can we go back please? I don't need four dimensional graphics or three D. I want my games to be games. Last of Us is about as far as I will allow my games to go. I don't need a PlayStation 4 when remember two out of two or four developers groups developer groups have tapped in the PlayStation 3's potential. I agree, the PlayStation 3 is still going and it's still got a lot to you know, it's still got a lot to give and a lot to offer, so we don't need a new console. We don't need a new console from the Wii. We don't need a definitely don't need a new console from the Xbox because they're a fucking curse personally, but <laughs> that being said, that there is still potential in this generation. People are signing it off way too early because look at The Last of Us. Look at uh, Beyond Two Souls. You know, two games which are you know exploiting what the PS3 can do. The Wii Look at Skyward Sword last year. Skyward Sword was beautiful. And now they're releasing the Wii U and it just doesn't look any better than what it did last generation. Get a grip. So I totally agree what you're saying there. There is still potential in this generation's worth of consoles. Anyway, moving on. I love how Razorfish bashed the game Saint it mentioned. That's were sh shown at two consecutive E3s. For no reason. The bashing what really wasn't necessary, and it didn't add, and it didn't add to anything. Civil Warfare 101. Well, thank you for leaping to my defence, but I do totally have to agree with you on that. Uh, sometimes Razor Fist can be a bit hand and foot with things, but he, he tends to use his head in the wrong way. Moving on. Elder. Elder of Mars, another regular commenter, and this is the last comment from uh, the podcast that I'm going to read out. Nokia have already made a engage, and it fucking sucked. By the way, Razor, he did the box art for Panzer Dragoon uh, on Saturn, not Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation X. You've been told, mate. But just going on to the uh, engage. Yes, the engage sucked balls. I was thinking of a home console. You know, maybe if they re reevaluated how they made the engage and perfected the design, and I, you know, because don't forget, we've got the PlayStation Vita now, and it's pretty much the same sort of thing except with touchscreens, because you can get the 3G model, which is a basically your phone application. It's got Skype on it, so you can talk out on it. Think about it. So I'm gonna have a troll through the. Fucking depths of the Facebook. Uh, let's have a look here. Hi. Here we go. Do 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 do. Right. Howard Franklin has left us two comments on the Facebook. He says, "Big thanks to Razor for recommending the band Anthem in the latest podcast. They fucking rock." Also, big thanks to Yo Chaos for recommending Sex Machine Guns. Yeah, I still need to check that out. Uh, got, let's see, we any more here? Nope, just old E3 bollocks from last week, which nobody gives a fuck about. So let's check and see if we've had any messages on the Facebook. Let's have a look here. Come on, oh no, there we go, let's have a look. Ah, Tyler Mullet. Let's have a look what you've got to say. Idea for Alpha Show, Mystery Science Theatre Style Movie Review, or whatever the fuck you want to call that. That's a convoluted mess. Anyway, that's all I'm going to read out. Uh, unless we've got some horrible channel comments that you uh, you have lovingly left us, let's have a look. I'm doing this live. So, here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's see. We've had a we've had a channel comment about five days ago. Is the iTunes subscription on the Hate Bit podcast supposed to be supposed to be updated regularly? 
I have had a subscription in my iTunes for some time now and it only has one episode available. Yes, that's uh, the reason why we don't do that is because iTunes can suck my dick. It's, it's such a palaver to set up, so <laughs> I'm not going to fucking uh, try uploading to that every fucking week. I'd much rather do it the way we're doing it and you guys can do some fucking work. You know, what you do, you download the uh, link, it's all, always in the description down below on the latest podcast. Download it, and then here's the easy pit, right? You go into your iTunes, and you press file. Then import, and then you click the file, you click the download, and it goes into your uh, iTunes magically. So, that's, uh, that's my helpful piece of advice. Now let's get your faces on, names to faces on uh, these videos here. So what I want you to do, any any reactions to the comments that I've posted, or any, any reactions to what I've said, please make a video response. Now, if, if, you, if I like your video response, it will be posted in the next uh, Fl Finding the Flames episode. So I'm thinking episode 5 will be perfect for that so anyway enough of this shit storm I've been Sainty of Magnus this is the 8-bit podcast and I shall see you next week <laughs>